Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, I'm up to doing day eight because I'm not doing stitch. Because would you believe? Because I'm not a sewer, I don't have anything except for very thin thread to to do like buttons and things like that. I don't have anything else to do any other sort of running stitches or something like that to make it look. Put, you can see it kind of thing. I've only got that very thin thin cotton. So. I thought, what's the point in doing that? It doesn't look very effective at all. <laughs> anyway, this is part of Junk Journal January, which is hosted by Meg of Meg's Journals, and I'll put her links below. So we're up to day eight, which is neutral. So I've dragged out all my neutral things. So I've got a piece of uh, brown paper, because I thought that that is from a shopping bag, a bag. Gift bag, I suppose, for me. Cut it, cut it off there. Uh, and whether I'll put it on the back or I'll put it on the white, white bit or I don't know, I'll just keep it that as a page. So I've made a base from a pen, Kayser Craft pen and ink old collection, and I've got this beautiful bit of lace. And I'm the nerd about cutting it up, whether I just cut it around the photograph, but it looked a bit odd. So I thought I would just um, use the whole lot. Yeah, and this is just cover the, unfortunately it'll cover the base, but um, I don't have anything else to sort of use. I don't have any muslin. I thought I had muslin, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I've probably put it somewhere safe, so safe. I can't remember where it is. Because the, the scrapbooking company that I subscribe to, Unique and Creative, sometimes has muslin in there in their packs and I'm sure they had muslin in their cheesecloth muslin whatever you want to call it I thought they had muslin in their advent kit which I just recently had and um, but I don't know where to put it so I've got this photograph this comes from a really genuine photograph album that I got in a collectible shop in Gulwa which is a town not far away from Adelaide about an hour and a half drive so this looks like a group of people are doing some mind climbing you can see it's very at very age it's very what's the word faded on one side so I thought I could use that photograph because it's sort of um, pretty faded not damaging it by putting glue on there I did think about putting a border and that's what I was going to do that's why I've got the ink out, okay. That's all my ink. So I want to try this one. This is using ground espresso. made me realise that because <clears throat> um, I don't really have a lot of um, neutral kind of focal points so this is the closest I could get to it being neutral. I just cut off this lace. Worrying about cutting it off the sides, it's sort of hanging over there. That looks nice, I think. Just make sure it's all stuck down. And then got this other lace, which I thought we could put good underneath like that. They're pretty. Bought a whole heap of um, lace from Letters to My Sister, which is a Etsy shop in Australia. I think I've explained before that one sister lives in Victoria and the other sister lives in Western Australia. And one 
sister has some things and the other sister has the other things so depending on what you order which sister you get your things from it's a very clever way of running a business really so it's not all on one shoulders I'd love to know where people give their sources that get their stuff from they must do a lot of looking around the garage sales and up shops and because whenever I look at um, estate sales on Facebook marketplace they never seem to be on the days that I'm looking for them <laughs> all right got some things that I cut out from the pen and ink collection so I'm going to put this stamp here And this other one here. I know some people with their lace they buy whole garments and um, do it that way got some flowers here but I don't know if they're going to actually go. <sighs> Not really. I don't think I've got any neutral kind of laces really. Yeah, flowers I should say. Going to trim it down the sides there. And I'm going to pop it on the paper like that. And I think I'm going to go to. Um, Normally tags you pull in and out, but I've got, I think I might just um, stick it in, but I, perhaps I could just make a little bit of a belly band maybe and use that. What have I got left over from this? I could use that maybe. Or we'll just cut another strip off tag. And use that. I have to use that side because I've got a big black. It must have been an Amazon packaging. Well, no, it can't be an Amazon packaging. It's a bag. And then maybe I decorate the, ba the band. Perhaps not today because the main thing is the. Neutral, I suppose. I was looking at the clock. I was trying. I was thinking of doing doing two today, to sort of get ahead of myself. Oops. Plus the only lace I've got there from out, out is this beautiful big lace here, and I don't want to cut that up really. I could have used that really. It's a band. No, I've got, I've, I've got that on there already, so I don't know. I'm gonna think about that one, but it's going to go on there somehow. And then, so, <coughs> and then, be your part of the coughing all the time. It's dry. Well, the sun's come out. It was very muggy this morning. Foliage is number nine. Day nine. I know it's supposed to do on the day, but... Hmm. <laughs> I just realised I could have, could have cut and pasted it and you wouldn't have known. I could have stopped this video, the last video, and did this one separately. So I'm going to do a 
flip up with some pockets for foliage. So just using an art, uh, scrapbooking collection from Neatly Creative because I thought it <clears throat> colours went well with the whole nice the idea of having foliage. And I'm using the back side of this paper, which is in this one here, just because I think, just to give it a bit of contrast. I should have put that one down first. I didn't. Okay, let's see how that goes. Um, got a foliage to me is flowers and but mainly leaves so I'm actually going to use this element here I'm going to use a bit of paper hmm maybe I should have A bit of this paper left. My tags are made, ready to go. Just did that. Oops. The tiniest bit of scrap. It's ridiculous, okay? I don't know if it's gonna work. You can't really see it very well. Can down there though. I quite like that. Um, I think I should have got a bit of for this as well. <laughs> Never mind. Didn't think of it at the time. My lace is too far away to get. rubber out for a minute. So in here I'm going to put some tags like that. And the tags are going to have foliage on them. So I've got some <coughs> sorry excuse me. I've got some vellum ones here. Or shall I use the vellum one here? I think I might need to keep it there. Let's see if I can get this to work. Sometimes I can get it to work and other times I can't. Oh look, first time. These are all from the same collection. From uniquely creative. Nothing very elaborate. My tags. Simple. I'm a. I think I'm a bit of a person who likes less is more kind of thing. Got all these tags here to decorate. So. So I've got some leaves that I've cut out as well, and some are. From the collectibles, not the collectibles, creative cuts that uniquely creative call them. So I had two of those creative cut ones. Don't look like I have. That works. I should be using my tweezers, but what am I doing? Use my fingers, because this is so fragile. I'm worried if I use the tweezers, it'll break. So 
somebody said to me that I could uh, put all this sort of stuff on a <clears throat> wide uh, double sided tape and then with die, with die cuts as well, same thing. You could do, do that and then it would be, you could just peel, cut them off and then peel them off. It'd be easier. Which I never seem to think to do, so I think it's probably a good idea. But just not. The trouble is with this thin stuff, it's just maybe that's what I should do so I don't get all these glue blobs everywhere. I'm on the double-sided tape and then cut them out. Just try to remember that. Alright. Is this one hard? I can't find a companion to this one. This one needs needs up there. small isn't it maybe I could go on the on the um, pocket that's the word I'm looking for pocket goodness sake I think I've told it said before it's sometimes it's really hard to talk think about what you're doing do it and concentrate at the same time it's just it's really interesting, you know, like you, it's really hard to sort of do, I think. I used to go to classes all the time and chatter away, but I suppose sometimes when you were concentrating, you didn't chat as much. Whereas when you're doing a video, you can, uh, doesn't need, I suppose you don't need to chat, because you have music, I suppose. Perhaps I could have done that for this one. Didn't think of it <laughs> again. Like I said, it's pretty plain. I will maybe put some decoration on them, some lace or something, maybe. Anyway, you can see what I'm sort of doing. I'm just going to grab some lace, hopefully. I can grab some lace. Head back in a minute. So I've got some lace here. Just pop my neutral one over here. Put my, my foliage up there out the way and I'll do that tag after. And I'll put these to one side as well on my page. So clear some space, K. Okay. Stuff everywhere. Okay, so on the cover, I think I need to have something. Yeah, I think that works. I've got some forest mocks ink that I'll do. I think going up with this is a bit of a throwback to my um, card making days, but I don't know whether that's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Looks alright. And some here as well. Looks a bit bare. There's that little flower I had somewhere hidden. It's hidden now. I'll put a flower there. And maybe some lace. That would look a lot better. 
and the person can, you know, if there's a piece of ephemera, you can write on that bit there. Maybe I could put a book or something there, I don't know. I think I might use one of these vellum ones. If I can get it to work again. What's coming off? Oh, I'm done, I'm done already. Oh, it's ripping, that's why. Somebody says best to roll the sides, but I don't know. Got it. And the flower and uh, leaf just ripped off my in my fingers. It's not helpful. Okay, so do I want lace on these ones as well? I think this lace is too big, so pop that back away, and I've got to pin there somewhere. I'll put that away in a minute. Got some thin one here. That's nice. I'll get all tangled up here in a minute. Just a little thin, thin one that way again. No, I think it looks better that way around for this one. See if I can find some words to go on here from the collection as well. But I think I thought I had one out, but I can't see it now. No, can't, it's gone. Go back and have a look after. And the last one. Well, not the last one because I've got another one to make. A small one after. Horse moss. Let's have a look. That works. Goes over there on the broken, not broken china, espresso one. <clears throat> Talking also makes my um, seems to catch on my throat as well. That's why I seem to always cough. Despite being you know, like having a drink beforehand or whatever, I think it's because, like, when you retire, you don't seem to talk as much to different people, and um, so when you do, it seems to sort of you know, catch, catch in your throat. I even found that sometimes when I was teaching, especially if I was in a big room, um, reading a story to the children, I used to find my voice being strained. You know, I should have done thinking on the pockets as well before I stuck them down. I never think of these things <laughs> before, I do, before I do them. I think it's just because I'm still not in the habit of doing um, things really yet, so I still feel like I'm a newbie when it comes to making stuff. Come up, doesn't matter. I'll glue it back down again. Too much glue coming out. Is coming up. Let's very quickly put a leaf 
Ich mal mal um. Back stuck to my hand. This is called ecstatic electricity. All right, so got that one, and put some numbers or something a word on there. This one. And the other three. Put that over there. Oh, there's my word. Hmm, I'm not going to go now, really. Perhaps not. But maybe this heart might go there. Or Maybe some leaves in the corner. Flowers go on that way. Do the leaves go on that corner? Or maybe another flower? Decisions. You yelling at me, telling me which one to do? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> People are saying, "Why is she doing that one? She should be doing that one." Come here. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's nice to have another opinion. I remember doing when I used to do the card making classes that um, having another person's opinion. What would you say? What do you think about? Oh, that looks nice. Or perhaps you could do this. You know, like sometimes help, having another person around does help. You decide stuff sometimes. I'm just going to get some labels. That might help. Oh, it's back to front. Upside down. Um, I'm going to put a stamp. This um, stamp here. I've got some butterflies to stamp inside, and I'll stamp a little butterfly in green on it. And number maybe all my numbers seem to have gone again I, 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 do, I do a heap of numbers and they just seem to go <laughs> wonder why no it's the wrong thing the wrong thing I think it's because being picky See if you'll find some green ones. The wrong green, maybe. It's the wrong green. That colour's better. Just down there in the corner. Rubber lace. And I think that'll be... enough for the day because our time is marching on and um, I know that um, people do turn off after a while they've had enough so we have done day eight the neutral the tag which I need to do a bow belly band or something for it does look very white on the back, doesn't it? I need to put something on the back, so maybe I could do the, another paper bag on the back just to strengthen it. Or maybe I could use the paper bag as a strengthening tool and put it on the white bit of paper as background. Something to think about. Anyway, and I've done the flip up with a ephemera holder. The tags in here. I don't think this last tag's not going to go in there because of the where the fold is. That's not that's coming up. Okay, so 
have a look. Have a look. There it does. So there's my day seven neutral and day eight foliage, and um, I'm really happy with the way they look turned out. And I will have to find a space how to work out how to put them in my junk journal collection and uh, junk journal January collection I should say and I hope you will join me in the next video bye bye